Hello everyone, we are going to walk through a real quick video creating our email lists for campaigns. So we're here inside of the campaigns applet and we're gonna select the emails tab. Now there's a lot of great things we can do with email campaigns. My favorite is going to be you know, letting our database know about upcoming listings. There's some great templates in there we're gonna to get to in a later video just like the just listed branded email. But first, we gotta tell the system who we want to send the email to, and that comes through building an email list. Now there's gonna be some great changes coming to this in the next month or so, but for today, again, we're inside of campaigns, the email tab, and right here, there is a button called email lists. This button is located in a few locations. If you actually go to create an email campaign, when it asks who you would like to send this email campaign to, you can actually create a list from within that function as well. But for now, again, we've clicked on the emails tab, the email list. Now we're just gonna go ahead and create a list. So some examples of lists. I'm gonna have my whole database. You know, maybe I'm gonna have you know sphere of influence. Maybe I'm gonna have one for investors. So for now, we're just gonna use sphere of influence as an example. I'm gonna come over here to tag, and I'm actually going to go and grab my sphere of influence tag. I got a lot of tags because I use a lot of examples, but we're gonna grab that sphere of influence tag and then give it just a second and it's gonna find it. We are gonna go ahead and hit that select all function. Now just remember right here, when I hit select all, it said 100 contacts selected, okay? I actually have a little more than 100 in my sphere of influence. So I need to scroll all the way down hit the load more on these 10, and I'm just gonna select those 10. If you were loading another 100, I would load more, load more, and then go all the way back up to the top and hit select all again. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and confirm it. Right up top, you can see there is my sphere of influence one that I just created with 110 contacts in it. So this is the first step before creating an email campaign. If you forget to do it beforehand, within the email campaign, you will be able to recreate this as well, and you'll see that in one of the next videos. Thanks for watching.